Oh yeah, she definitely got more power than she did. So what we're going to do is we're going to try the Castle Link software. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Castle Link software. And we're going to go ahead and pick Castle Sidewinder 3. Now I'm going to take the programming cable. And then we're going to take the programming side. We're going to remove the speed controller from the receiver. And then we're going to plug this wire directly into the programming cable. Now we have all the options on our screen. So under advanced, we have motor timing. Now guys, I won't lie, I have no idea about any of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and start at the lowest. We're going to update, which is going to send the calibration to the speed controller. And now that it's flashed, we're going to put this back into the receiver, power it on. Now the problem that I was having, if you watched the other video, I wasn't able to punch this without it grinding up some. So basically, pulling it does that. If I full throttle, it seems like it binds up. But if I'm real easy with it, it goes. Again, I gotta be really easy with it. So that's at low. Again, when you punch it, it just doesn't wanna go. So now I'm gonna unplug it again. And I'm going to reconnect it to the programmer. All right, we're in. So let's go ahead and change the timing. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna go to highest and see what happens here. Go ahead and update it again. Let's see what happens. Still binds. I'm still getting. I just I can't punch it. Oh yeah, it's definitely faster. Alright, so let's leave it at that for now. Let's see what else we can change in here that might be causing it. I'm just going to change the start power to high. I don't know what that's going to do, but let's go ahead and update it and try it again. It's definitely faster. What could be causing it to bind up? I'm gonna go ahead and play around with the throttle curve here. Let's see if we can get it so that way pulling the trigger doesn't make this thing go crazy. We can just maybe smooth it out a little bit. I think that might make some type of a difference, right? It's still kind of slow, but I think I think we've gotten somewhere with it. I still got that binding going on now. Oh yeah, she definitely got more power than she did. It's annoying though. All right, so we're just gonna quickly go over the settings that I have because it seems to be working good now. I have the motor timing at high, start power high. I put the throttle deadband at small and the throttle curve. So 
I don't have max power right here. I just have it so that way a little bit in, I'm just getting just a little bit of power in the throttle. And then just about halfway, I get about halfway throttle. And then it just smoothly goes straight up to full. So I think that is what helped stop the, you know, the sputtering in the beginning. I think maybe it was just getting too much voltage. Not really sure. Maybe some of you can uh, shed some light on this. And, uh, you know, obviously this is my first attempt at doing all this. It was a lot easier in my old set up when I actually had a castle motor on there. It just worked. But, uh, yeah, so this is kind of fun to play around with here. I, I highly recommend if you have a brushless setup from Castle or probably any other brand at that, get the programming software, get the programming cable. Not only are you going to be able to figure out, you know, things like I just did, but I think you're also going to be able to, uh, you know, set your car up in a better way. Quick little video where we're at right now. Got it running pretty well. It's a little bit dark out here, but this is with the calibration settings that I have set now. She goes pretty good. So it bogs down a little bit. If I just touch the throttle, it'll go. And I have it set so it doesn't really get to a full until right at the end. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope this gives you a good idea of what I did to this, how I made it work better. Hope you enjoyed watching. As always, smash that like button, subscribe, share, and leave a comment.